Hello everybody, this is Francesca from Fattere di Montemaggio and this is a Wine Thursday and welcome back. Today we are going to discuss of course uh, about Vinitaly as probably some of you already uh, noticed uh, from the from the post we posted early, uh, earlier today and I'm, I'm going to give you a couple of uh, you know more information about Vinitaly. Uh, but first of all, of course, I hope that everybody's doing fine and everybody's doing uh, all right. And uh, of course, uh, um, for also for all the people uh, that are going to follow the replay of the um, of the live, that of course we will both post on Facebook and YouTube. Uh, so thank you so much for the support, and of course I hope you are doing fine. So today we decided to make this little, uh, you know, chill, laid-back live dedicated entirely to the Vini Italy. Of course, uh, for um, the people that don't know, uh, Vini Italy is this huge wine event um, that uh, you know takes place in Verona, in Verona, the city of uh, Romeo and Juliet, by the way. Uh, but we are also going to talk about this later. Uh, but anyway, it's uh, this huge, uh, super important event for the world of uh, wine, not only Italian wine, but in general, the, the world of wine, uh, the world of wine lover, the world of, uh, you know, people that work in the wine business. And, um, you know, we wanted to discuss about it because it's super important to explain why this this event uh, started to you know become such a huge important moment of uh, exchange between uh, people of the wine you know and it's not only about the fact that um, you can uh, go there you know and, uh, and taste some wine so it's, it's way more than, than this it's creating connection creating community as well because that's what they uh, did since the beginning and um, you know it's uh, it's something that we uh, as a uh, as a winery of course that since from I mean since from the uh, day one since from the beginning we, we tried you know also to build up a community of wine lover it was you know something that we really we really always appreciated so let's dive into it so first of all when uh, this wine Italy uh, Vin Italy uh, started you know uh, Vin Italy literally means wine Italy you know it's a it's a um, discount wine festival that probably more than any other you know um you know track the evolution of the system of italian uh and uh, not italian uh uh wine world and you know it has a very huge important uh, has a very huge contribution when it comes about you know creating this connection as we said but everything you need to know started in 1967 and uh actually it was September so it was not uh, it was not at the time the uh, during April like nowadays but it was during during September the 22 and the 23 of September at the uh, um, palace of uh, Gran Guardia uh, they made this um, this let's say festival or this wine fair whatever you want to call it which was Giornata del Vino Italiano and this is basically the act of official uh, birth of uh, uh, Vin Italy and so 1967 of course after that they started to you know uh, make it a little bit more uh you know improve it make it a little bit uh, uh bigger and finally in 1969 during the third edition of giornata del vino italiano uh slash vin italy at that point uh beside of course the the, the usual activities that they were doing where they were just you know discussing overall the wine from italy there was also uh the chance uh from 130 wineries different wineries to present to go there and present their products because that's what we do even now you know um we go there we uh, brings our product there we create connection we have the possibility to speak with the uh, importers distributors um uh, you know um, restaurant owner uh people of the wine and to create connection that are so 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 important and so again it's not only go you go there you drink a glass of wine you chill you go there and you really breathe the knowledge about wine. You really breathe the passion and the love about wine. And you really uh, learn from people uh, that are 
making this product, how they built up, you know, their uh, approach, their strategy in the, in the vineyard, how they developed their approach in the cellar, and now they, you know, create the final product. And that's that's, in my opinion, the the beauty of Vinitaly, more probably more than other, uh, more than any other uh, wine festival, I would say. M maybe of course there are uh, many others, uh, Valley wine festival, but Vinitaly has this, this real magic. I would say, you know, that's also the reason why people, um, you know, started to perceive this kind of like formal for the for the for the Vinitaly for the people that don't know about this term it's a uh, an English term uh, which means fear um, fear of missing out so um, this is um, uh, you know self explicable you know um, after you know two years of stop because you need to know that Vinitaly was stopped for two years due to COVID <laughs> nowadays people are you know uh, getting uh, so much involved emotionally speaking I would say in some case um, uh, in, you know in this kind of like uh, wine festival and of course everybody wants to participate you know and it was also a little bit like funny there was a lot of uh, you know discussion about it on the social media on the web and uh, uh, a lot of uh, you know, uh, funny situations where create like people are asking for the for the tickets to go there and so on. So it's uh, not personally to to, Mont to me or to Montemaggio, but in general, it was like a, this kind of like funny, funny things. And I mean, you see the real passion and the real love of people for for wine and for Italian wine, for European wine, and not only in general the wine, the wine word. And again, that's the beauty. So let's proceed in our uh, in our uh, journey of uh, the Vin Italy. Uh, in, uh, um, in, of course, in 1971, the a wine fair uh, became Vin Italy, Salone delle Attività Vinicole, which is basically a real, um, that point, a real kind of like uh, wine um, commercial festival, festival. And it's really, you know, more, um, more. I mean, a little bit closer to what it is probably nowadays. And at that, uh, at that moment, it was also shown in the festival, uh, basically, um, let's say, a know that it was dedicated to uh, machinery and products for the analogy and the culture. And, you know, it was, it was very, very interesting. Another uh, another uh, moment that, in my opinion, is very important uh, is the 1980, uh, uh, um, and uh, you know they started to uh, do this uh, to do this wine festival in in April. So like now, uh, then in 1987 they started to have also the first uh, Salon dell'Oliva, so the first uh, um, you know. Um, all dedicated to the olive oil, and then in 1988 also the uh, distilla, the Salone della Grappa, so the, the whole of the grappa, and then also uh, brandy and in general spirits. So it's starting to be like 360 degrees when it comes about those kind of product. And you know, there's also very particular eye on the organic productions, and I mean, it's it's really what we what we love about also this uh, this kind of like. Um, uh, manifestation is kind of like a um, wine uh, wine fair. I would like to show you now, of course, that clear out a little bit, like a couple of very important dates. Uh, I would like also to show you the uh, picture, first of all, of Verona for people that know, don't doesn't know the city because it's you know it's a uh, something like you need to know. I think uh, it's like Rome or Florence or Napoli, at least once in your life, you need to visit Verona. It's a wonderful, wonderful city. And, you know, um, it's a, it's really, really important. And as I told you, it's the city of Romeo, uh, Romeo and Juliet, pardon me, Romeo and Juliet. So I would like to sh uh, share my screen with you. There we go. And as you can see, so this is the Arena di Verona. It's not a very high quality picture, but it does his job. And uh, so that's what, what is famous for this, uh, you know, uh, this, um, this city. And this is the uh, terrace of Romeo and Juliet. And, uh, uh, or at least that's what they think it's, uh, it's the terrace of Romeo and Juliet. So, um, you know, when you have also the chance 
to, 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 to go to, 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 to the Venetian, then of course you can also visit the, uh, the uh, Verona uh, city because again, it's full of, uh, full of um, you know, passion and history again. So you have a lot to see, a lot uh, that the city uh, is offering to you. So anyway, when it comes about Monte Maggio, we will be there, of course. We will be there as a, basically uh, all the last, uh, you know, uh, 13 years that Monte Maggio exists, uh, as you know. Um, and uh, uh, except, of course, the last two years where, uh, of course, the, 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 due to the COVID, the, the Benitari was, uh, was, uh, was stopped. But anyway, we've always been there. And uh, so we will be at the, uh, of course, uh, um, uh, at the, um, this, the, this festival, and we'll, of course, present uh, some, some, I mean, the majority of the wine, of course, that we, uh, that, that we have, of course, now on the, on, on the market. And uh, we will be at the all uh, nine, and the uh, stand it will be the D4. So uh, this is the, then of course I will also um, write it uh, down in the comment section for the people that of course want to reach us. By the way, that um, uh, this is the correct information. Uh, this morning we posted the uh, uh, actually, yesterday, I'm sorry, we posted on uh, Facebook uh, uh, telling that uh, it was another all and another stand, but uh, this is the correct one, so I will, I will, I will, I will change it uh, soon. It was just like a misunderstanding between, uh, um, uh, between of course, us and, uh, and the Veneta, that's it. And uh, uh, so that, that will be the correct information. So we're going, of course, to present two different products. Some of uh, them are already on the market. Some of them are going to, uh, of course, be on the market soon. Uh, we're going to, uh, of course, uh, bring there the, let's say, the power might of quality of Chianti Classico. So the Chianti Classico Dannata, um, which anyway, in our case, is six years also, I uh, would not call it Dannata, but anyway, the entry level Chianti Classico, the basic one. And then the Reserva and the Gran Selezione. By the way, these are the wines I'm talking about. And actually, I'm also drinking the beautiful, beautiful Chianti Classic from 2015 now. And uh, again, it's a very huge, beautiful, beautiful moment. Very ready to be to be drunk. Um, of course, this is a wine that you can also probably keep it for a few more years. I think this kind of Chianti Classic, especially from 2015, which was a very concentrated vintage, a bit warmer. I would say this is one that uh, will go easily up to you know uh, 15 years of aging, and uh, you know it's uh, it, it's it's still you know super 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 young, and of course it's ready to be drunk. But it you know you have you know, those kind of like uh, um, red fruits um, that are really like popping out, coming out. It's really you know it feels young, you know. Then of course you start. You have also probably some like wild um, uh, hint, like uh, uh, a little bit of leather, a little bit of, you know, this kind of like um, scent and hint that are a little bit uh, more typical, a much more mature wine. But anyway, this is a wine that it, it feels still young. It feels young. Uh, that that's this is something we 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 always appreciate. That this wine has a very 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 long longevity, like the two uh, say big brothers, the Reserva and the Gran Selezione. And actually, the, there are some vintages uh, uh, where the um, Chianti Classico, uh, say the entry level, survived a bit more. Uh, than the, the, his counterpart, uh, the Reserva. For example, if you, uh, I don't know if you have ever had a chance of uh, tasting the, the 2006 uh, Chianti Classico from Montemaggio, we had a chance a couple of years ago to, to taste it, and it was still, I mean, still vibrant, still relevant, amazing wine, uh, very, 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 very balanced. And, you know, you were able to perceive anyway fruits. And so that's a sign, of course, it's a wine that can go even longer in terms of aging. So it's, uh, you know, that's that's in the beauty of this wine. And for example, Reserva 2006 was set, I mean, still good. Uh, at that point, it was still good, but it was started to sound a little bit more older. And, uh, you know, uh, anyway, amazing wine, super well structured and so on. But anyway, with, you know, there was, there was this kind of like, quality the you know super super vibrant wine and very um you know you know super ready to 
to be drunk, not too much or even uh, in that in that case. So these are going, of course, this is going to be one of the wines, of course, you will find at the, at the Venetian when, when it comes about us. Anyway, uh, if you want, of course, to uh, visit us, of course, Please just uh, just uh, just come and join us. Uh, both, of course, if you have the, the chance at the Venetian, but also in the at the winery, we are always you know open uh, on appointment uh, to everybody, to all the people that of course want to want to join us and as i told you the vin italy it will be the whole uh, number nine and a stand uh, it will be the um the um the uh d4 so i will again link it uh, i will write it sorry in the in the comment section of facebook anyway so uh, again i hope of course you are doing fine i hope you're doing well and uh, as i was saying to you this was just like a little life you know to recap a little bit the history of uh, this super important uh, you know uh, wine festival that we have in italy which is the vin italy so of course i hope uh, that um, we will have a lot of uh, uh, you know a uh, lot of uh, um, people you know many of you that of course are going to join us uh, at the vin italy uh, i will not be personally uh, there but my colleague Edoardo and our manager uh, Ilaria Nikini uh, our manager and agronomist Ilaria Nikini they will be of course uh, uh, there and they will be super 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 happy to welcome you so again for whatever uh, question or necessity um, even related to the in Italy and of course also to us if you want just feel free to send us a message uh, as I always remind you we are super connected with uh, with people so if you write us on Facebook or on Instagram or even on the chat on the website chat we we are super super happy to to answer to you and uh, you know it's always so nice for us to be in touch with you so again thank you so much and see you next time cheers this time with this beautiful beautiful 2015 Chianti Classico from Fattoria di Montemagno ciao